All right, so this is a treadmill board. This is an MC2100. It's the Revision B. Um, from what I understand, this is a pretty common problem. If, you're, if your treadmill starts up and it runs for just a second and dies, let me demonstrate. If it's doing this, chances are you burn a MOSFET, which is this part right here. This guy right here. This is an IRFP250N MOSFET transistor. I'm going to disassemble the board from the heat sink. All the transistors and diodes and whatnot have these bolts going through them. So I'm going to take all these bolts out and there's one ground screw right here it needs to come out. This is a 55 millimeter. There's some glue in the corner. I've already scraped this off. It's in all four corners of this board, so you got to scrape all that off. And you can just slide the board out. Okay, these transistors have this heat transfer pad on the back. Go ahead and peel that off. All right, on the back side of the board, I'm just going to desolder this MOSFET. All right, here's the old MOSFET, here's a new MOSFET. I'm gonna set my meter to the diode check function, which is that symbol right there. It's like an arrow going to a cross. Okay, so the new MOSFET, if I put the black one on the center leg and the red one on the right leg, you can see we get a reading. If I put the red one on the left leg, there's no reading. And we go over here to the old MOSFET, black on the middle leg and the red to the right leg, you can see that the reading is much smaller. If I go over here to the left leg, you can see we also get a reading. So this MOSFET is shorted out. It's dead. Got to make sure that you get all the solder out of these three holes where the MOSFET was at. All right, I'm going to temporarily put the board back in the heat sink. Gonna watch this little standoff peg here. He'll get stuck on you. I'm just going to put one screw in over here. And then I'm going to put the other screw in over here with the other MOSFET. I'm not going to put the nut on it or anything. I'm just going to put that through there. Now I'm going to take the new MOSFET and I'm going to stick it down in those three holes. I'm going to put the screw in the back side of it. And this one I'm going to go ahead and run a nut down on. Before I tighten that nut down, I want to adjust this thing so it's straight. Just going to snug that nut. All right, now by having that transistor bolted to the heat sink, it's going to hold it in position for me. Now I'm just going to reach in here. I'm going to tack one of these legs from the top. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pull the board back out of the heat sink. Now I can finish soldering this in from the back side.
I'll go ahead and clip the legs off. I want to put just a little bit of dielectric grease on the back of this just to help the uh, heat transfer pad stay in place. Reinstall this. Slide this back into the heat sink. And bend that over just a little bit. Go ahead and start putting the screws back in. Make sure you hook this wire back up. Alright, let's hook this all back up and see if it works now. Alright, I got the MC2100 back up and running again. I hope this helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.